What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw a dress. Now I have a sketch of one of my original characters here and we're going to use this as a fashion template to help us draw a dress. So let's get started. So as you can see I have the face and specific hairstyle drawn for my original character. But if you do want to learn how to draw the face I'll give you a link to a playlist right here and that has all my how to draw face videos. And I'll also drop a playlist right here too called Cadillac's Barbershop and Hair Salon and that playlist features all my how to draw hair videos. So check those two playlists out. They will also be in the description. But like I said we're not going to mess with the hair and face today so we can just skip those and we're going to move down and start at the torso. So the kind of dress that I'm gonna draw in this video is called a mid-calf dress. So if I go down to the legs, the mid-calf dress would stop just below the knees. Like right here is the calves, and the dress is gonna stop at like the midpoint of the calves, so right about here. But let's come back to the torso and start there. So the first part of this dress is gonna be long sleeve, but for the collar, I'm gonna give her like a V-neck. So like a V-neck shirt. like that and then we can finish the torso because it's already drawn because again this is a fashion template we're gonna follow these lines and we're gonna stop at the waistline which is right here so I'm gonna draw a line there and that's the actual torso but we got to do the arms too so the kind of sleeves that I'm going to draw for this dress is called a circular flounce. So coming off of the shirt, it's going to stop right here at the elbow. But to complete the sleeve, it's going to look like it's a dress for the arm. I'll show you. So it's going to stop right here at the elbow and we're going to make some sort of fabric some loose fabric coming towards the hand. So it's gonna start here at the elbow. I'm gonna make that into what looks like a dress, but not exactly. Just like a dress for the arms, kind of. Okay, and then from the elbow, we can add a couple lines that do the same thing as the contours. To add some sort of uh, wrinkles like that and then let me see if I can erase these guidelines of the arm because we won't be able to see that of course if this is transparent when you go to color it then you can leave some lines for the arm but I want to erase them so that way we can like fully see this part of the sleeve hopefully that's a better result but yeah that's a circular flounce sleeve so let me do the same thing to the other arm so let's uh, draw a line on the elbow. We can complete the arm, or the one arm, and then the forearm. So again, it's gonna be like a dress for the arm. And this part of the sleeve is gonna be hanging down because it's kind of loose as it gets towards the hand. So I'm just gonna make a couple curves like this. Come back up. like that and then the top portion of that will be resting on the forearm like that and then let me uh, darken these lines a little bit let me erase the forearm the guideline for the forearm and then we can come off of the elbow make some wrinkles gonna be kind of loose down here but then right here we can add a little bit of shading just color that portion in because that's the inside of the dress which we're not gonna worry too much about but yeah this part down here will be hanging off the arm okay so that's the torso part of the dress now let's move down a little bit and draw the actual dress so like I said it's gonna be a mid calf dress so it's gonna stop right about here just below the knees so I'm gonna draw a little line down there a straight line 
okay and then coming off of the waistline you can begin to make the dress so I'm gonna first start off making it like a top bun of a hamburger shape kind of the same shape I used to make the eyes but not exactly because we'll be altering the shape later so again top bun of a hamburger or section cup shape however you want to look at it Okay, so that's the dress thus far. So again, coming off of the torso, we're gonna begin following the contours that we just made, but we're gonna make more curves as we get towards the bottom. So now you can see that I'm making some sort of an S curve, something like this for the dress. Okay, let me erase these some more. And we're gonna make a curve like this, okay? And a curve that goes in the opposite direction. And then from there, you can make a lot of wavy lines. Okay, and then this same S curve that we made over here, we're gonna do it over here as well, on the other side. The hand is kinda in the way, so you gotta like maneuver around that. Okay. And then I'm just gonna darken these wavy lines down here. Okay, and at the bottom of the dress, I'm actually gonna have a couple of alternating wavy lines like this, and then I'm gonna shade that in to add some sort of perspective to the drawing show that there's another part to the dress, the back of the dress specifically. So I'm just gonna make another wavy line down here, color that in. Like that. And then let's do the same thing to our first curve over here. And there we go. Now let me take my eraser and try to erase the legs. Okay, so now we can't see much of the legs now. And that gives us enough room to add some wrinkles to the dress. So most of the wrinkles will be up here because that's more of a tension spot. The tension spot is where the fabric kind of gets tight. Like up here where the dress kind of attaches to the bottom of the torso or the waistline. That's a lot of tension there so we can add a lot of wrinkles or wavy lines coming from there. like that small line big line and since this dress is wavy at the bottom we can add more lines along the dress going all the way to the bottom and there we got us a good looking dress it kind of does look like a jellyfish in a way don't you think Look at it. It's kind of like a jellyfish. I just thought of that. Anyway, we're gonna move lower and draw some shoes. Now for this template, I actually have the shoes already drawn here, but I'm gonna draw the shoes a little bit differently. So right now they look like, a, I don't know the name of it. I think it's called flats. Just some shoes that you can slip on. But I'm gonna make them look somewhat different a little different but if you're doing this with me you can add any kind of shoes that you want you can actually give your uh, princess I want to say you can give her some sneakers like do you as an artist or a fashion designer anything is possible give your uh, character any kind of shoes which is what I'm doing here And there we go. So I'm not gonna shade them in even though I was just about to, but let's zoom out so I can show you guys what we have so far. 
And yeah, that's what our character looks like after finishing the dress plus the shoes. So at this stage, you can add any other accessories like jewelry, necklaces, bracelets, or tattoos even um, to your character. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the neck. I'm going to draw in like a little uh, amulet or necklace in a way. Draw like a little uh, choker up here with like a little amulet hanging from it. And since I drew a v-neck on this character, it kind of fits in. Just snaps right into place. I know that kind of doesn't make sense, but it's okay to put it there, basically. But yeah, I already have an earring on my character, so I'm just draw that in so you guys can see that. And then if you have room to add bracelets or a ring to the character's hands, feel free. Like I said, as an artist, you can do you make your character as unique as you want. But after finishing adding any accessories that you want, you're pretty much done. So what I'm gonna do in this video is ink this drawing, give it some color, and then come back to you guys and show you what that looks like. And I'm gonna do that in time lapse so I don't make the video super long. So let's go. All right, and here's what my drawing looks like after it's finished being colored. And that right there is how you draw a dress. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I can't let a nigga like